All righty. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a, what is today, a Thursday? A Thursday. Yeah, today's a Thursday. Thursday, October 21st, 2021. And we're going to get back into it. We're going to jump over to the Australian servers today. Hey, Jason. Gasper. Vidar, good to see you guys. Excuse me, I uh, I picked up an Icy. On my way back home today. Using that to try to, to juice my system, I was... Uh, don't, don't, you know, be mad at me, but... Uh, I was a little late on my meds today. And uh, I got a bit of the shakes. I'm trying to, to 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 juice myself up a bit. Oh, and those hit the spot. Oh, those hit the spot. Hey, Vlad. Hey, Moon. Good to see you guys. Hey, Jay. Hope you're doing all right. Hey there, deplorable. The fields are going okay. And yeah, Moon, I, I took them a bit late. I did take them. I just, oh, I had such a late start this morning. They've really been messing me up. I cannot wait to start uh, weaning off these steroids, man. Like, I start getting the trembles and the shakes. Everything else, and it's so annoying. Not to mention, like, super tired, but no energy sleep. Oh, Vlad, you're at work, huh? Yeah, Vidar, I, uh, like, I went to bed quasi early last night. Uh, I didn't actually fall asleep for, you know, forever. Ah, uh, gotcha, deplorable. So what do they have you doing today? Hey, beds. Uh, you know, Trade prices are uh, are decent. Um, I don't know if you traded back in in 3.10, but they're they're kind of around the 3.10 area. So, like you still have a few issues. Like you know, distilled spirits are gonna run into a few things, but um, you know, uh, titanium, acetine, things like that are good. Now the thing is though, also beds, we are in PTU, a uh, highly restrictive environment as far as the amount of people that are around. So. I don't think we're going to actually see uh, a decent spread or accurate spread of trade until more people are playing, like in PU. So what we're doing right now is, you know, we're seeing what's what's viable, but we're not really going to see a decent uh, or an accurate take on it until until more people have access. So um, I do I do want you guys to take this with a grain of salt as far as anything we discover. Let's see. Let's go. Let's take the cat out first. I want to come back for the Taurus here in a little bit. Ah, yes, thank you, Moon. Yeah, let me change the live chat right quick. Hey, plane. And yeah, beds. I mean, you should be able to make that money again via trade. Hey, guitars. Afternoon, buddy. Oh, plane. These aren't even my ships, man. Like, since it's PTU, um, Ivacati has access to literally everything except, I think, maybe the executive edition of the 600i, which we used to. Uh, I think they finally removed that because the rich people were complaining. Um, yeah, I don't I don't own all these. Hangar 4. Okay, that's, that's where it was. Yeah, I'm going to come back for the Taurus, because I want to test some things with the Taurus. Oh, yeah, deplorable, man. I, I hope they haven't. Um, yeah, Crumpet was showing me all that, like, the, the mice plague they've been having in Australia. Like, you know, with literally millions of mice just tearing through fields and coming through the cities and stuff, and just... Hitting all the all the harvest, man. I, I hope you're not having to deal with that. Uh, AJ, I think I should have like 200k in UEC. 
The C2, some cats. You have blood? You want that wipe to happen, huh? And and play, like you can go get it. Well you've got fifteen million credits on uh, on PTU. Clips isn't that expensive. Alright, so let's go. I wanna see if people have been hitting you, Terpy. We're gonna move medical supplies with the Taurus once uh, once we come back for the Taurus. I I plotted the Microtech, right? I'm not seeing the. Yeah, I did plot. Thank you. So why is it not showing up? Let's just clear. Set again. Um, that's interesting. I don't have a, a jump marker. What if I plot the uh, Arc Corp? Interesting. I'm not getting a, a marker to jump to Arc Corp. What happens if I don't plot at all? Oh, that's... That's not good. That's not good. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Maybe if I can just calibrate and jump to something blind, it'll reset. Okay, well now we're not jumping at all. Unless it's obstructed. What is up with the UI today? Oh yeah, beds. We are all waiting on the merchantman. Sorry, I'm I'm attempting to get this to work. I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, deplorable. I can imagine, man. I can imagine. Uh, yeah. Like if I had colorblind issues, I would probably not mess with wiring at all. Hey, Saron, what's up, man? Good to see you, buddy. You'll have to excuse me, I'm having some sort of UI issue where none of my jump points are uh, are popping up. Um, it's very awkward. Um, you know what? We might just we might just go back for the Taurus after all. See if uh see if if that'll fix it, cause uh yeah, no, this is uh this is not This is not ideal. You know, all things considered. Um, I have, I have no, I have no jump markers. So yeah, we're just gonna, you know, uh, go back for the Taurus. I think we'll just do a, a quick, you know, cardiac arrest. Ah, uh, yeah, but it's not a bad idea. Actually, I probably should have shut the ship down. So let me do that. Let me just make sure it's all clear. Maybe, you know, put the brakes on so we don't slam into a rock while we're, uh, while we're doing this. I say that. I'm shutting the ship down. Not like it really matters. Because, like, I know that it helps it when the, uh, when the map is stuck on. This is the very first time I've ever had an issue with the map UI not showing up at all. Interesting. Yeah, nothing. Very weird. Alright, yeah, time for cardiac arrest. Let's go grab the Taurus. We've messed around with this long enough. And to cardiac arrest I go. Oh, <laughs> Vlad, evading the boss, huh? You working at the golf course? Or are you just trying to make sure he doesn't, you know, like, one-up you on your on your score? I miss driving golf carts. Those things are so fun. Hey, 
Hey, Steve. Ah. I see. Well, I think I know what the problem is. That... Huh. I see. Hmm. Hey, Via. Hey, Jim. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah, yeah, Woody. It's gonna be a reset for sure. Um... Interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, so... I wonder how fast that reset's gonna happen. You know what? I'm just gonna do that reset right now. I wonder if it'll kick me out of the game. We're gonna, we're gonna do some testing. How long will that reset take, and will it take me out of the game? Oh no, the head's not back. Like, here, let me just... That is empty. There is nothing... There is nothing in this helmet. Yeah. Nothing in that helmet. I am the NASA guest. Excuse me, I appear to have lost my head in this trying time. Yeah, Steve, you like when they tell you not to lose your head, uh, they're serious. But I do have a Moby Glass. Interesting. You know, we're just, we're just, we're just gonna give it a go. We're just gonna see if we can, you know, if we can just, we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, yes, plane, I do have a body. I just don't have a head. Um. Yeah. Oh, right, I have to call out the tourist to cross field on it. Hey, Math, what's up, Beth? Hey, Rod. Long time no see, man. How you doing? I goes truck simulator. Uh, bad. I have no idea on that one. And Steve, I'm sure they do. Uh, you got the Liberator, Rod. You know, like, I... I was on the fence about the Liberator. I, I briefly considered ridding myself of, of the Kraken to go for it, because that would free up a bunch of stuff. Still have the carrier gameplay and everything else, but I ultimately decided not to. Yeah, Reaper, I really don't need my head, I guess. You know... Do I have any paint jobs? I don't think I have any paint jobs. Not in P2. Alright, we're gonna see if we can jump with this. If I can't jump, like, if I still have the same issue, I'll have to do a character reset. Hey, Jose! Yeah, like, you know, I'm still dying going up the stairs in the Caterpillar. Died a couple of times stabbing my toe. And it's weird because the things that shouldn't kill you are the ones that seem to kill you the fastest. Like, I was going up some stairs in an outpost the other day. And uh, I stubbed my toe and I fell over, and my, my time to live was five minutes. Like, nobody's getting to me in five minutes. Okay, yeah, I'm not getting a marker for where my ship is. So that might be why I can't jump anywhere. Pad 10. Uh, Rod, I'm currently in PTU. Uh, and there are definitely some issues. No head, for one. I am, uh... I am headless. Hey, Fallen. Yeah, Vita? Yeah, that still irks me, like... I feel like CIG really needs to, uh, pay attention. Like, they forgot that they had the Liberator edition of the Valkyrie, so we've got the Anvil Valkyrie Liberator, and then the Anvil Liberator. Hey, come on, CIG, did you guys not think about this. Uh, guitar as a server might be dying. 
I'm thinking that it's because I don't have a head. Moon, I mean, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, let me grab the phoenix so I can use the uh, the fish tank. Oh, Rod, that's a that's a hell of a rock collar right there, buddy. All right. Moment of truth. Yeah. Okay. So without a head. Okay. Why are the why are the constellations so shaky on takeoff? All right. So without a head, I cannot plot for jump points. I I cannot see jump points. So um. Thank you. That's that's a bug report. I wonder if it's because I went to jail. Like, is that it? Did I just lose my head in jail? So that is going to be a character reset. Uh, Drag, you're actually assessing a patch today. Finally. Only after a week. Yeah, Vlad, good luck with the boss, man. Or, you know, good luck not seeing the boss. Oh yeah, Jordan. Well, I gotta reset my character here anyway, so we're just gonna, you know, hit, uh, hit space. Which, it shouldn't take very long. In fact, while I'm just, you know, throwing myself out into space, we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, erase character. Then copy character. Oh, right, they did actually finally add gravity to this. Well, you know... Boop. The question is, if I have no head, what happens when I remove my helmet? Ah, I still die. Can I put my helmet on in time? No, not grab. Oh, there we go. Now I'm dead. Hold on. Oh, okay. I've only got seven seconds. All right. I was going to request a beacon to see if someone could, you know, save me. Ah, uh, yes, Scourge. Yeah, resetting it will start everything from scratch again. Oh, Rod, man, I think you can get more than six to eight rocks in there. I think you can get a lot more. Uh, Nox, that was the Constellation Taurus. Give me one second. I'm just checking my email to see if they've recopied me yet. Although they'd probably kick me out of the game first. Okay, do I have a head? I do not. Darn. Yeah, Scourge, it'll start us from scratch again. I'm just erasing my PTU account. Uh, Alright, looks like it. So give me one second, guys. You're gonna get the splash screen while I'm re-logging into the game. And, uh, you know what? We're gonna wake up around Art Corp, I think. But yeah, no, we're gonna take the- we're gonna take the Taurus back out. I wanna test some things with the Taurus. Because I feel like it's probably the best thing to haul, like, medical supplies with. And yeah, guitars, to, to circle back to that, as far as the Constellation, like, the Constellation is a very old design. I mean, literally, it's one of their first designs, you know? And, um, I feel like it could definitely use a facelift. Like, I know the gold standard or whatever's coming, but it definitely needs a massive redesign inside and out. Huh, <laughs> thank you, Alexander. Yeah, uh, my, my roommate actually made that splash screen for me. For, uh, you know, the many, many times that the servers like to, uh, error that must not be named. Uh, Steve, not yet. I actually literally just encountered it. But, I felt like it was faster and easier to just do, do this. 
Oh yeah, Scourge, like the the Taurus is an excellent and natural progression from from the Cutlass, you know. Uh, we'll go we'll go area eighteen. They got ship parts that I want. Hey, Infinite. Yeah, sorry, I, I saw you up there earlier. I was trying to deal with the head issue. <laughs> Yeah, Drag, I wouldn't mind seeing that. You know, like, the Freelancer is an excellent design, but it has that weird, like, Class B RV thing where it's like, oh, wow, I can't really maneuver in this at all if someone else is standing up. Uh, Alexander, they have not included the server crash fix yet. That'll be, hopefully, the patch that they're looking at dropping today. Uh, Scourge, I just went to my regular account, deleted my account off PTU, and then recopied it instead of just going to the PTU site. I should have gone to the PTU site and used the recopy, but I found this faster. When there's not a surge of people trying to get into Wave 1 all at once, doing a delete and then recopy literally just takes like a minute. And, I mean, I've done it. <clears throat> I've done it enough, not gonna lie. Hey, Mitch! I mean, I could pull it out now. Unless you just want to feast your eyes on yours for, your, for yourself. I do like the 400i. I don't want to. Like, it's not even a useful ship. It's a high-performance Winnebago, but... I love flying this silly thing, you know? Uh, Fallen, technically, I think that would be the Hornet. That was, like, the, the first ship they ever showed off. All right. Here we are. In Art Corp. See, Infinite, like, I always felt like it was very front-heavy, like the Constellation series. At first, I was, uh, I was a Mist fan, and then I slowly started gravitating towards Drake. Exactly, Scourge, like, it's, it's, it's the coolest useless ship in game. I don't know, that might be the Reclaimer. Hey, Ms. Mon. Uh, oh, Steve, that's a good idea. Yes, I do. I do have a head. And he looks very confused to be here. But yes, we do have a head. You know, that actually, uh, I don't know how many of you guys watched uh, the original, like, G1 Transformers. But there was an episode in Season 3 called Web World. Um, where the Decepticons go to this, like, planet of ape psychologists? Because Galvatron has gone more cray-cray than usual. Anyway, there's, there's this alien, he's got like three heads, and all he does is just sit there shouting, I have no head. And, uh, I don't know why, but as a kid, I found that to be one of the most hilarious things ever. And that has stuck with me, because clearly I can tell you exactly what episode that was from. Um... But yeah, no, just whenever I see myself without a head in this game, that's that's what I think of. Is that, that three-headed alien going, I have no head. Hey, Dirt, welcome back, man. See, guitars, I, I am too, man. Like, that's that's how this game gets me. As much as I complain and whine and moan about Star Citizen and make unrealistic comparisons and all this stuff, Keep doing it, you know? Oh, infinite. I've done it. I've done it. It's so fun. Absolutely useless, but so fun. Dodge torpedoes and a reclaimer. Yeah, Drag, I always keep forgetting that the reclaimer actually has some turret firepower.
And Mitch, let me let me get on this train. And I'll show you that 400 I. Hey, one G. See, Cal, like I did too. Like, uh, you know, my my family life or my home life was not that great as a kid. And uh, you know, I was born in '89 after G1 went off the air. But my mom dated this guy. It was super hardcore into Transformers, and you know, he showed me all the recordings of Transformers he had, and you know, gave me a few toys, and got me into Beast Wars and all that, and um, oh, HC Vertigo went down. And, you know, it was one of those things that I just latched onto heavily, because, again, my home life was not that stable, and uh, I didn't really have a lot going on as a kid, you know, so I just, I just really got obsessively into it. Oh, 1G. Yeah, see, that's what I had. Mine was, uh, was a factory supercharged MR2. Mine was the 88, though, not the 89. The 89s are a bit more, uh, sought after. Uh, they had a few updates to them, made them a bit more, uh, a bit more performance heavy. Uh, yeah, Dragnos, uh, Beast Wars was, uh, was the 90s iteration of Transformers. Um, it was CGI, one of the first CGI shows right after Reboot. Uh, actually from the same company, Mainframe Entertainment. Uh, excellent, excellent show. Really helped develop like serialized plots and things like Transformers. Because they, they focus more on a few characters with development instead of just making it super toyetic and just trying to sell a toy every, every other episode. Hey Beast, man, that hasn't been too bad. Uh, you know, if we can actually go and do it. Hey, Craig, good to see you, man. Yeah, you see, 1G, mine only had 89,000 miles when I bought mine, but uh, sadly, uh, my alternator started to go out, and the alternator on the supercharged models is slightly different. Then, like, head gasket was going out. Yeah, I just had to finally sell the thing. It was so sad. Hey, Betty. Oh, man, I appreciate that, buddy. Hey, there's a lot of decent Star Citizen people out there, though. I'll tell you right off the bat, I am a huge fan of Camerol. With his uncompromising tests. He does a lot more testing than I ever could, that's for sure. Oh, Dragnos remembers Reboot. Heck yes. Oh, Reboot. Didn't they, uh, weren't they gonna make a Reboot of Reboot? I mean, Coyote, they transform now. Oh, uh, you know, name goes here. We haven't actually had one yet. I did have to do a character reset. I'm not I'm not going to count that as one. Uh, yesterday, though, we somehow made it, I think, the entire time without one, which means today should be <clears throat> terrible. Today should be absolutely terrible. Uh, let's see. Let's grab the, the Taurus. Good old Taurus. Oh, man. Oh, thank you, man. You guys don't have to if you don't want to. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, Drag. Like, 90s Batman. You know what I really miss? Batman Beyond. I really loved Batman Beyond. Oh, Minnie, I do not own these. Uh, this is, this is because of PTU. I do not own these. Like, literally, I have access to every ship except, like, the, the Executive 600i. But, uh, we're gonna use the Taurus. Oh, thank you, Beast, and good luck with school, man. Hopefully it's nothing too difficult. Hopefully it's not, uh, anything too hateful like calculus or, you know, chemistry. You know, I was asked to leave chemistry. Hangar, hangar four. Oh, yeah, Craig. Sometimes you'll fall in a place where you're not supposed to be, and you'll find a random AI just hanging out. You are clear to launch. Yeah, Coyote, like the REDs or whatever they're called, basically... Um... You guys saw that, right?
but yeah, like, they're basically like the, the statues, just like the posable things instead of actual transformers. Like, and I know they had some of those back in the day. It's like, wow, let me buy a transformer toy that doesn't transform. Russell, I'm gonna try for fewer deaths today. I'm just, I'm gonna stick to what I know. <laughs> Instead of going to bunkers and, and getting killed and shot up, I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna stick to what I know, man. I'm gonna stick to what I know. Hey, Shazzy. Oh, uh, Shazzy, man, I could, I could help you out. All right, so let me, let me ask you a question, man. First off, are you playing in PTU or PU, man? Like. Because that'll be the big decider on uh, how things get equipped. Because they're changing, they're changing the way the the inventory works. Oh yeah, Kai. You know I had some GoBots too. Challenge of the GoBots. <sighs> Whatever happened to GoBots? You know they they made that joke uh, in in the Bumblebee movie. It's like I wonder if he's a GoBot. Like wow, they did it. They name dropped GoBots. Oh, yeah, no, name goes here. Not at all, dude. Like, my favorite caterpillar is the best in show one, just because there are so many people that hate that paint job, and I, I love it. Like, it's so basic, you know? Oh, I remember Pogs. I never got to do Pogs. Mom wouldn't buy me Pogs. Uh, so, many. the way that you equip things is slightly different in 3.15. All your inventory is localized, so you have to be both where the ship is and where the components are. Um, versus 3.14, where it's all, you know, global. Okay, so, so Shazi, let me, uh... Alright, so, first off, Shazi, your Aurora does have to be stored. So make sure it's not actually in the universe. Like if you're if you're at a place like Alosar or you know Area 18 or whatever, make sure it's actually stored. Um, and again, this is going to be slightly different because I'm in 3.15 right now. If you're in 3.14, then uh, okay, yeah. So I'm not even going to be able to access this. But open your Moby Glass, hit the uh, hit the ship icon down here, and then you'll go to the drop down and select ship. Now, if you have a red lock icon next to your Aurora. It either needs to be stored or claimed. But once you do that, over here you'll have an area for like propulsion systems, weapons, things like that. You go to the weapons and you can change them out there. Now you do want to make sure that you have the correct size because the Aurora I think only takes size ones if it's the MR. So you will need to uh, you will need to check for that. Uh, AJ, I don't know if I remember Minibots. Now, are you talking about, like, the, the Micromasters for Transformers, or was that, like, a different, uh, a different franchise? Oh, yeah, Minnie, it's super convoluted. I'm hoping they change it up, because right now it's just way too, way too convoluted. Ah, yeah, Shazza, that'd be it. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, uh, the Aurora only takes size 1 components, or size 1 uh, weapons on the MR. Now, if it was an LN, you could do size 2s and size 1s, but yeah. Uh, you are locked to size 1 weapons. Uh, same thing for your shield components, uh, coolers, power plants, things like that. Everything for the Aurora is size 1. Wait, Steve, really? Astro Bot Tonka? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, Minnie, that sounds about right. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Micro Machines, oh, yeah. Uh, Shazzy Negative. Unfortunately, you cannot sell ship components yet. Um. You are stuck with them, but look at it this way, you know, if you acquire a, a bigger ship, uh, you can always use them on those, which there's going to be a wipe in 315 anyway, so, I mean, like, wait a week, you'll lose it all. Hey, Tony. What's up, man? I'm sorry, I'm just sucking down the last of this Icy that I bought forever ago. Oh, many, that sucks. Could you, uh, could you turn stuff off to, you know... Get it to work. Ooh, 
Ooh, Colin, that's a, that's a good question, far above my technical expertise. Hopefully we have some, uh, some hardware gurus who can answer that. I would go monitor, but that's just me guessing. Hey, Zom. Welcome back, man. Ah, Tony, man. I'm sorry to hear you've been working so much, dude. What's going on? Like, work just, like, forcing you constantly, or what? Oh, many. That's fair. Hey, Tom. Welcome back, man. Uh, so, Shazi, uh, I won't have it here, but if you go to Crusader or Hurston, go to your contracts under, I, I want to say it's going to be under Mercenary, you're going to see some things called Unauthorized Surveillance. They pay 20k, you basically have to find three skimmers around some comma rays, and uh, the skimmers don't shoot back. Now, they will spawn some ships that will come after you, but just ignore those. Uh, basically, you want to use your your scanner to find the uh, the skimmers and blow those up. It's a five minute contract, pays twenty k. Pretty easy peasy. Oh, so Colin, you went both, huh? Wait, LEDs have emissions. Ah, uh, yeah, AJ, that was it. There was the Micromasters. There were the ones that turned into the guns. Oh, I forget their name. Target Masters. Yeah, Micromasters and Target Masters. That's what it was. Uh, Tom, I actually use uh, a few different things. There's Galog. Use Galog. I'm just going to leave pretty much everything that there is for trade. Now, Galog is a little bit behind right now. They're getting updated. Uh, Zum, we don't have a patch yet. This is Galag.co. SC Trade Tools has a lot of the base data. And then I'll give you guys my spreadsheet as well. This is my personal one. So it's not super... Uh, it's not super, you know... It's not going to tell you where to pick this stuff up, but you can use it in conjunction with SC Trade Tools, Galag, things like that to kind of see, you know, what, what we should run... Ah, I got you, Tony. See, you and Deplorable should talk, both in agriculture. But yeah, Tom, that's that's what I use between those three. And, you know, just personal experience, too, because, you know, I do this... I do this from time to time, you know, trading. And AG, I think it was. Uh, that was, like, Gen... or Season 4, though. I never got to watch Micromasters and Target Masters. Oh yeah, no, Math. I don't I don't do Laranite, man. I do not do Laranite. But yeah, so we're gonna go we're gonna go trade some medical supplies. And I might need to adjust you know what? Because if we run medical supplies in the Taurus. We're looking at making about 60k a run, which is pretty, pretty good in a Taurus, you know? Like, you're still probably going to make more doing bounties, but at least this way you're not getting shot. You know, and losing your Pico or whatever you have with you. See, Colin, that is pretty nice, getting 60 FPS. I doubt I'll ever get that in Star Citizen. Alright, where is Anvik? I want Anvik. There is Anvik. Uh, Casper, not yet. Probably in two to four years. So, Drag, the reason I avoid Laranite, and it's mostly because of the air that must not be named. Laranite makes a ton of money. But the actual margin is pretty slim. I think like 15 to 18%. Um, and when you're in a caterpillar, I don't 
don't want to risk 1.4 million just to make like 300k, you know? And not to mention, you know, it's a it's a huge opportunity for pirates. And I figure um, I can probably avoid all that headache just by not touching it. And so far, it's worked out pretty well. I'd rather lose 400k than 1.4 million, you know? Besides, not to mention, if I'm moving with a fleet, I can make the same amount of money. Uh, now, who is that? Who could that be? Why is my targeting not working? Mason Stonewall. Seriously, why is my targeting not working? I guess we'll scan it. He's in a 100. He's not. He's not moving target. You know, with the Taurus, we actually can just land over here, too. We don't actually have to worry about landing on a pad. It's nice. Oop. Oh, yeah, many of the trade tools are definitely going to change when Quantum comes online. Like, ideally, for for CIG, trade tools won't work when Quantum comes online. Oh, yeah, Scourge, you'll make a ton of money like that, too. Um, it's just, it's one of those things that I don't like to touch personally, you know? Oh yeah, Drake, you and me both, man. Although, like, I've been measuring it, and they said it's only going to record it like every 10 minutes. Look at that, base price, medical, 274.50. How does that match up with my numbers? Medical supplies, 274.50. Okay, so that's the exact number I've got. Uh, yes, Tony, this is the Taurus 174 SCU of goodness. And I Love Beer, it is not a new patch, this is the old patch. There is a patch in assessment today. It has not gone out yet, though, so we were still on that patch from last week. Oh, math, it should be fine, because it just saves all your stuff. Like, it doesn't save it specific to the server. Alright, so we're gonna take this to New Babbage, because it's close, you know. And look at that, New Babbage is right above us. How convenient. I say that, Microtech is right above us. I have no idea where New Babbage is. Although, if we can jump directly to Tresler, which it does not appear we can. That's fine. I'll take Microtech being right above us. Saves us an orbital marker jump. Hey, Bruce. Ah, oh, man, it, it really depends, man. Um, only if you can get it cheaper than what you could from the website. Um, unless there's just a ship that you are super specifically after. Um, it's kind of a kind of a niche case, you know. Like, is there something you're after? Uh, Aeroc, the 400i is live. It just, it only has like 42 SCU. And I'm just testing how medical is going to be for the Taurus. Uh, Scourjo, they can. They can go down. Well, at least, you know, the air that must not be named will bring them down. They'll usually announce it before they bring it down for maintenance. Uh, so eternally, the crash recovery is not in yet. That'll be hopefully the patch that comes out today. And Tony, like, information is supposed to be available in-game when that comes out. Like, you'll actually be able to see it at trade terminals. Uh, but, you know, that's years from now. And yeah, math, like, it's supposed to basically be the same as it is now. Like, if I get booted off an Australian server, I can load up my, uh, storage ship somewhere else. Supposed to. CIG is supposed to and R can be two totally different things. 
And yeah, Drake. Uh, well, you know, they're supposed to redo trade entirely with physicalized cargo. Um, and the whole series will have to have that to support it, because right now you can't even park a whole series really anywhere. But yeah, like, trade will have to go or undergo a massive adjustment. And if that's the case, they'll probably set it up where it's like Elite, where big ships can trade more commodities at stations, but smaller ships can get them at better prices at, uh, at planets. Because, you know, like in, uh, in Elite Dangerous, there's a bunch of places that have great deals, but they can only take medium or small ships. Hey, VP. Good to see you, man. Yeah, okay, so Mini also has a point there, too, about the gray market. I don't know if you're after anything particular, but, you know, when you buy on the gray market, that number's not going towards, you know, uh, towards anything on your account. Not to mention, you also have to look at, you know, if you melt that thing, are you going to get the same value? Because, like, let's say you bought, let's say you buy a Carrick on the gray market, right? That Carrick might be $600, but if the person bought it during concepts, you know, they only spent 350 so when you go to melt it, you're only gonna get 350 of that 600. Oh, Casper! Oh no! Oh no, Casper! He survived. <laughs> Whoops! Is right. I'm gonna park sideways. So you can probably get a little closer there. You don't have to park all the way behind me. I think I just hit. Oh, Fallen, that's uh That's a big question right there, you know, about the merchantmen. Uh you know the, the merchantmen I don't know, man. Like that thing's been in development for so long and they haven't really done anything with it. Like they just keep coming out every now and then saying, Oh, it got bigger and got more stuff, but Right now, it still kind of feels like it's all on the drawing board, you know? Um, so I really don't have an opinion on it until we actually have, you know, like a hard copy of it. Because there's just so much stuff with it that's up in the air. And yeah, Vidar, like, the Taurus is easy to load. You've got that tractor turret right there. Should be super easy to get stuff in and out. You know, Infinite, I have, I have not actually owned a TV myself for a very long time. Yeah, exactly, Kai. And that's that's how it should be, you know? Like, smaller ships can be haulers. Like, they can do trade, but they can also haul stuff to the main stations. Yeah, see, exactly, Mini. I mean, like, how many times has the, has the merchantman gone up in price, too? Oh, Bruce, I think it already went up, didn't it? Isn't it, like, 500 now? Yeah, see, Infinite, I just, I never saw the point of paying money for advertisements. Like, you know, you gotta buy these packages of channels, and half the show's advertisement anyway. Most of the time, the, the, the shows aren't even that great, so I'll just, you know, watch what I want to on the internet. No, no, many. I'm not knocking the merchantman, I just, you know, I want to see it, you know? We've been waiting on that thing for so long. All right, 1905, I believe that is the base. No, 1925 is the base price. So that means someone has been trading some medical supplies, which is, you know, good for them. So that's actually going to bring our profit down to 57,000. So we're missing out on about 3K, which isn't bad. Not bad, but, you know, we can still unload. So yeah, we made about uh, 57,000 there. That's not bad. You do that three times, you know, we're gonna make, we're gonna make about 182,000 an hour, 175 an hour. That's, that's pretty good for a Taurus, you know? I mean, probably still gonna make more running bounties, but again, you know, if you're trying to keep your armor, that's, uh, that's pretty decent. Sorry, I'm catching up on, on, on chat here. 
Yeah, Keel, I, I highly suspect that the Merchantman is going to have cap ship pricing by the time it actually launches. And yeah, Tony, the, uh, the price is going to go up, for sure. I don't know about the... the value. I mean, maybe they're gonna sneak some modules in when we all weren't looking. Did I go to the wrong one? Is my ship out here? Oh, AJ. Aha, it is here. All right. Yeah, infinite. You know, like, okay. As much as I have knocked Origin, the 325A was my very first ship when I bought into Star Citizen. Because I wanted the red, but at the time I couldn't afford the red. And I told myself, like, oh, this is all I'm going to spend. This is more I've, than I've spent on a, on a video game ever. It's all I'm going to buy. Oh, what a fool I was. What an absolute fool I was. And yeah, Math, uh, I feel like the, the Ion is going to be the new bounty hunting ship for, for Hammerheads. Like, that thing is going to eat bounties. Hey, Larry. Good to see you, man. How's work going? <clears throat> yeah, Sol, if you got it for that price, hold on to it, man. You know, Kat, they actually, they toyed around with that idea of being able to dock a Cutlass to it. Of course, that was back in the early, early, early days. The very early days. Ah, oh, Colin, that's a good question. I mean, I could I could go pull it out and find out. I mean, the medical looks good here. I feel like I need to test it a few more times just to check sustainability. But, um... I mean, we can always go load up a Carrick. And yeah, eternally, like... You know, if I could go back in time and slap myself... Uh, I probably would. Like, no! Stop this. You're better than this. Go buy a cheeseburger. Or Domino's. They actually deliver. <laughs> uh, we're on the dark side, so that means I'm gonna have to jump to an orbital to get to Calliope. Hey, Sebo. Good to see you, man. Oh, yeah, Varys. I mean, like, you know, okay, so I'm thinking, like, Ion for Solo, Redeemer for Friends. Because a lot of the Redeemer, you know, uh, firepower is tied up in the, uh, the turrets. Which I am, I am looking forward to the Redeemer. Because, you know, like, when the Valkyrie came out, everyone wanted to do it in the Valkyrie. And the Valkyrie's not bad, it's just, you know, a bunch of size 2s. That was back before the turret buffs. But yeah, man, the Redeemer... I think the Redeemer was the first concept ship I ever bought. I still have it in buyback. Oh, good, Laramie. I'm sorry that work is boring. Well, I do want you guys to know, uh, I'm going to have to leave around 4 today, which is in about 2 hours. Because uh, I found out that I've got an appointment today. You know what, just for fun, we're going to move some fluorine to Anvic, and then move some medical supplies to, to New Babbage. Oh yeah, Craig. Doge and Bitcoin and all that. I never got into those. Yeah, you see, eternally, that's what happens. They're like drugs. They're a stepping stone. You know, you start with an Aurora, then you go, oh, the Titan's not that much more. And then you get a Cutlass and then a Taurus, and you think, well, I could use a second ship. And before you know it, like, you know, you're getting that certificate in the mail. It's like, oh, congratulations. You've joined the concierge. And then your wife is asking why the debit card was declined at the grocery store. Not, not that that's ever happened. I 
Oh, many. Oh, you went for the hundred eye, huh? Yeah, see, Steve, that's when I joined. Like, back when it was just the hangar module. So I would just, you know, like crawl into my my ship and make pew pew sounds. Oh, <laughs> thanks, deplorable. You see, Drake, you know, mine's mostly cargo related. Except I don't have a whole series. I might change that around. You know what? You know what I like about SMCA6? The landing pad is just right, right there. Right there. So you don't even have to really, you know, go very far. You can just stay on the pad, nice and secure. Oh, deplorable, you never got the cutlass, what? I like the cutlass. Okay, we gotta be careful, because this is where I die a lot. So we're gonna, we're actually gonna slow walk up the stairs. Oh, do they, Infinite? I mean, the Carrick's, the Carrick's a good little ship. Like, I hate that there's not, you know, pilot weaponry, but eh, whatever. Exploration ship. Oh yeah, of course, Drake, you know, five, ten years from now. You know what, to uh, to quote Rat Trap from, from Beast Wars, like, ah, we're an exploration ship, not a battle cruiser. See, now, Astatine would be the thing to buy here, but... Uh, you know what, actually, hold on. Hold on, I just, I just want to check. And we're kind of going off some old info. You know what, no, let's not check, let's just go into it. We're going to see how much Astatine uh, Anvik will actually buy off of us. It should be a fairly low amount. Or at the very least, it should be a low refresh. See, Tony, I always thought it was like an abusive relationship. Like, you just keep coming back to it no matter how much it hurts you. See, Jordan, it's always the opposite for me. Like, if I jump down those stairs, I will probably die. Yeah, Mini, you don't you don't like my landings? They give you anxiety. I can make it worse. You know, Mini, my best landing was in a cutlass red. I actually landed while dead. I woke up in the bed while landing. My best landing ever. You know, Infa, that's a good question. I don't I don't really know about that. Like as far as the pioneer goes, like I guess people buying outposts and having you install them. That's really the only thing that I can come up with. Alright, Anvik, where are you? Caltag. If I remember correctly, there's a reason I don't like Caltag, but I don't remember what it is. Ravens, Anvik, there we go. See, I don't come to Calliope a lot, so it takes me a while to, uh, to hunt for Anvik. And yeah, Lenny, that's fair too. I mean, you know, server's only handling, what, 50 people right now? Wait, wait, what's up with this red dead bed poet? Tony, I believe that would be the uh, the A2. And whatever the new Crusader bomber is, it's coming. Alright, so this fluorine run is not going... Or I'm sorry, acetine. It's going to make too much. I think around 27,000-ish. Let's double check. Fluorine, 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 fluorine. Hold on. No, 
I'm looking for astatine. My bad. All right, yeah, so we should be making around 34,000 if we can unload. I don't think we're going to be able to unload the whole thing. Uh, yes, Waterwick, it is. It is, uh, I want to say 3.5 million? Urkel actually has it listed on their, on the test version for 3.15. But yeah, I think it's like 3.5 million. Should be available at Lorville. That's a lot of rocks. And we're just gonna park right at the outpost again, instead of landing on the pad, because I don't want to walk. Because I'm lazy. I think I can park here. I don't think I'm gonna be- oh, I am on something. Whoopsie doodle. Right there should be good. Ah, yes, Moon! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even realize it. You see, Tony, like, the, the A2 just creates, uh, industry for the Pioneer. Whew. So close. Yeah, Lenny. And, you know, there's actually going to be sinks now. Where it's like, oh, I lost all my armor, my guns, everything I had on me. Time to buy that all back. Hmm, yeah, see. Here's the issue. 840, and we can only unload just under 50 SCU. So, someone has definitely been here with Astatine, so I would not recommend taking Astatine to the outposts. Astatine needs to be a port sale only, so we're going to pad with the medical supplies, which have gone up to 1579, 4 cent increase. Probably from us. And uh, go and load that at New Babbage. Yeah, Moon, I, uh... Oh, darn. Can I jump into this? I can. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I should have parked along the side. Instead of pulling right up at the, uh, at the door. Alright. And in the words of Power Glide... And away we go. Microtech is right there. Ford Tressler is jumpable, which means that we should be able to have a direct line of sight to New Babbage. Yeah, you know what, that sounds about right. I mean, the thing with a Prospector, once you get that 108k, you can pretty much go for whatever you want to right away. Versus, you know, Taurus, you gotta build up that seed capital. Uh, although, hold on, what, you've got something to haul those refined goods with, right? Like, you know, after you refine things? Hey, Gruff. Oh yeah, we'll do we'll do a we'll do a Synodic stream before Halloween. You guys can see if I actually get jumped when it comes to like water stuff. Yeah, you know, name. That's the thing. It's been kind of weird because some days it'll be like every twenty minutes, and then some days it won't happen at all. Very, very uh, inconsistent. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Getting those black squares. 
Uh, so Divine, it is not updated yet. We're still in the uh, the previous patch. Oh, guitars. Uh, the prospector went up. It's like two point one million now. Hey, Marcus. Oh man, I freelance here, Max, dude. Just uh, just skimmer missions. Twenty k a pop every five minutes. That'll that'll get you into you know freelance and max cargo pretty pretty quickly. I went to the right one, right? I think this is darker than it should be. Yeah, it's the right one. I'm good. Negative guitars. The 400i will basically barely hit the water, just enough to look like it might float, and then it will explode. Oh, thank you, Lenny. Well, welcome to the channel, man. Sorry, I was I was landing there and catching back up on on chat. But yeah, man, we're fairly laid back. We like to help each other out. I don't scream too much. I mean, sometimes I do, and the the errors that must not be named are back to back, but. Hey, school? Oh, man. You know, I've had some decent parking jobs, school, and then I've had some terrible parking jobs. Generally, I like to say they're alright. I don't fly the Taurus or the Constellation series a lot. So, parking them sometimes is a little... a little, uh, you know, dicey. And yeah, Marcus, like, it took me a long time to, to learn... You know, maybe I should run on the other side, so I'm not getting in the way of the joggers. Uh, Swarm Logic, it'll probably be 3.16 for the 400i in-game. They usually wait about one patch. Unless it's an interim patch, like the Redeemer. The Redeemer will probably be 3.17. But yeah, usually they wait one full patch before they, uh, they put it in-game. Uh, so, name, people can't send those doors up. Like, they can stand on it all they want, but they can't send it up. Unless it's the C2, which will go up automatically. Yeah, Conk, yeah, they can stand on it, but they can't send it up. And honestly, if someone wanted to go out there, they could just stand by it anyway and wait to hop on. And then I would just, you know, basically play a, a waiting game. You know, Marcus, I, I, I thought about checking planetary services. You know what? We'll check it this next time. We'll, we'll, we'll do it again. We'll go again. Uh, but planetary services usually has a much smaller demand. Like, their demands are a little... Eh. So I don't I don't usually give them the time of day. Now I probably should, especially with you know a new patch and trade looking different. Oh yeah, Lenny. Yeah. I almost feel bad for those people, but and yeah, Vito, I see Kiel in chat doing things. Uh, Calic, yeah, it's Altex, sorry. Catching up on chat again. You get to do the John Cena. Uh, Travis, right now we are testing, uh, running medical in the Taurus to New Babbage. Whew, that wind. 
That's all right so far, although I do think it's going to get a bit more difficult when PU goes live. I think multiple people are going to be doing it, and the profit margin is going to dry up. It'll probably go to about 45,000 in a Taurus instead of the, the 60,000, uh, because we're running it just by ourselves right now, uh, as far as I can tell, and uh, the margins are already starting to decrease a little bit. So I am kind of worried about the sustainability. Now this is just new Babbage though. Um, if you don't mind the long haul. Yeah, you know, let's go test out a long haul. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do, thinking Hicks research to area 18. We've got a cross field, so that shouldn't take long at all. Uh, so, math, F4 is your third-person cam. Do not mix it with Alt F4. That will exit you out of the game. Go ahead and put the engines all the way back. Uh, yes, yes, Zaysu, yeah. Uh, you can actually go loot your own body now, or loot other people's bodies. Total loot fest. Rust in space. Uh, Swarm, yes, yes, there are a few guaranteed routes. They are not the most profitable route in the world, uh, but Fluorine is always an excellent run. If you absolutely have to take it to a city, Loveridge Mineral Reserve has enough Fluorine for, like, ten caterpillars at once, um, and you can take it to Area 18. Not a very fast route. Usually what you want to do is take Fluorine from, like, Art Corp 157 to Deacons, both on Yela. Your route is only about a 10 minute loop. Uh, it was getting swarmed a lot in a previous patch, and with the whole self-eating commodity thing, it was kind of ruining itself. It should be better in 3.15, but if, if everything else fails, at the very worst, you can always run flooring from Loveridge to Area 18 for max profit. Uh, it'll take a lot longer. You're gonna double your, uh, your loop time to about 21 minutes versus, you know, 10. But uh, it is a guaranteed route. I and mean, a C2, it'll make 42k a run. Not the route I want to do, obviously, but it is a thing. Uh, Zaysu, that's actually this patch. That is a brand new thing for 3.15. Medical gameplay and everything else. Yeah, see, Travis, that's the thing. I, I want Quantum to do that. Like, I want to have to guess, you know? I want to have to go do new research every day. Because, like, that's the thing. Realistically, we've had the exact same route since 3.6, you know? And while the margins change slightly because of people trading, um, the overall way that you trade hasn't really changed in several patches. Yeah, school. Good luck with the good luck with the bed, man. Sleep is rough sometimes. <laughs> Appreciate it. Sleep well, dude. Hey, Firebrand. Good to see you. Uh, Cal. So the highest grossing run so far today. Like we've only touched medical supplies today, which in the Taurus netted us about fifty-seven thousand. Um, now ever is gonna be like you know Laranite. Um, which I'm not personally a fan of running Laranite. Just because of the uh, the low margin versus the high investment risk, um, but you know, Laranite is always good. The problem is, once this goes live, you're not going to be filling up a ship on Laranite unless it's like Taurus or below, um, because everyone wants Laranite and pirates want Laranite, and uh, really, there's only four reliable sources of Laranite, and uh, they're all in super high demand. So uh, I usually just don't touch it because, you know, if something happens, I lose the ship. I don't want to be out tons of money. I would rather get a, a lower profit, higher margin cargo like titanium or acetine safely to a place without getting shot up than uh, just risking the stress, you know? And 
thank you, Swarm. Yeah, sorry. I tend to ramble sometimes, too. But uh, I try to answer everything. And if there is a question you guys have and I miss it, just just repeat it. I'm so sorry. I promise I'm not ignoring you. I, uh, I just have to look off to the side sometimes. And when I tend to ramble or rant like I have been, I'm uh, not always looking. So my bad. And yeah, Parker, I'm waiting to see what they do with Jump Town. I hope they don't scuff it up. Hey, Marcus, welcome back, dude. How's, how's it going? And yeah, Apple, we should get more more alerts. Because right now, the journal only has, like, three things plugged into it. Well, maybe. Oh, yeah, Valtrius. He's actually been in here for a bit. He had a, he had a beacon out. Uh, I think someone was going to go rescue him. And then it got messed up. Where is it? There it is. Oof, can't really read that with the uh, thing in the way. But yeah, see, look. Hicks. They got overstock on medical. We're going to see if we can take advantage of that. 1575 That's a good price. That is not correct. That updated to 15.79, so that is not updated for a while. Uh, overstock on Distilled Spirits, 405. That's good. Oh, yeah, get that chicken, Marcus. Hey, we'll be here. You know, AJ, that's a good question. And Travis, I do do some mining. Uh, my girlfriend, Crumpet Boat, she does a lot of mining. She is the uh, She's the major miner. I'm the minor miner. Uh, AJ, a load of Laranite in a C2 would cost you 1.74 million. So 1,740,000. You would make 418,296 credits if you purchased at base price. Yeah, Kiel, I'll tell you what. Um, I will dock it by Genie and sell a couple of the medical supplies there and then take it down to uh, Area 18. How's that sound? Uh, Guitarist Vertigo is a, uh, he's a streamer on Twitch, like a Star Citizen streamer. Oh man, he's dropping Death Wish 3. You guys ever see Death Wish 3? That was like the most ridiculous Death Wish. <laughs> oh, I used to have all those on VHS. Okay, that's Damar, so Selen's gonna be right there, so we'll drop early. That way we don't have to use an orbital marker point blank on Crusader. Or did I drop out too early? Nope, I dropped out too late. Someone's right there. So I'm gonna have to go to an orbital anyway. That's fine. You know what? We'll go to the top orbital. I mean, we were coming from Microtech. Selen... Selen kind of lines up with Microtech, so it gets in the way. Hey, Michael. Welcome back. And yeah, Laramie. You know, I want to see Diamond come back more. You remember in 3.82 when Diamond from Tram and Myers was the thing to run? I miss that. That was good. Because, like, everyone was going to Tram and Myers. Like, it kind of became like a, a discount jump town. Oh, yeah, Firebrand. And then, like,. Like, he shot that guy point-blank with a grenade launcher in Death Wish 3, and... The thing is, you know, they made, like, five of those, and he kept running out of family for people to murder, so, like... It got to the point where, like, he went on this big crusade because, like, they, they killed his maid? Actually, uh, they made fun of that in, uh... Dinosaurs. I don't know if you guys ever watched Dinosaurs... With Earl and, and France and Claire, but... There was, uh, there was a show on the show called Exploding Cop. They would make fun of Death Wish. Like, they killed his family. They ran over his dog a couple of times. But then, like, his, his favorite grocery store ran out of his peanut butter. Like, this time you've gone too far! Exploding Cop. Oh, yeah, no, Zacy, like, we actually go out to the air and halo belt all the time. It's just... Usually we've been going to, uh, to moons and stuff because of the issues with scanning things. Landing 
Yeah, Laramie. Like, yeah, Laramie. like uh, Diamonds. Diamonds definitely has a lot more uh, capacity. It used to a tram. I think they've adjusted it somewhat. Oh, whoops! I didn't adjust that. Give me a second to land here. Nope, stop, stop charging. Oh, Jordan, I remember in 3.9.1, because you could sell it right there at Port Alisar. VP, I'd love to see dinosaurs come back. I don't know. I don't know. That was such a classic show. I don't know if they could really do it justice, you know? And Travis, I'm surprised I've lasted this long. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, see, Apple, I never got to see Last Action Hero. Um, this is actually a massive backlog of movies that I have not seen. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna take this, uh, to Baijini. You know, Firebrand, if the baby in Dinosaurs freaked you out, you should see the episode about the Terrible Twos when he gets, like, basically possessed for being a toddler. Really, Laramie? I haven't really messed with the diamonds recently. I should probably go to Leary and... Mess around with that. Is that at uh, 045 at the Lair Night? Oh, yeah, beggar. <laughs> I was always a fan of uh, of Roy. Oh, Roy Hess. Such a, a sweet character in, in Dinosaurs, you know? That's fine, Firebrand. They didn't remember it either. It was so terrible they blocked it from their memory, which was actually the plot to most of the episode. Ah, yes, yes, 04, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, 056 is what I'm thinking of, my bad, Laramie. Yeah, see, I usually go to, you know, Humboldt. I just avoid that Lair Knight. I don't have the fuel. That's fine. You know what? We'll stop off at Creole 4, sell some medical supplies there, refuel. I mean, I could just refuel here, but whatever. I don't like to hang in the area after buying goods, you know? Oh, yeah, Apple. That was uh, Ask Mr. Lizard. Like, let's just give nature a little nudge. And then the volcano exploded, and Timmy's missing a head. Right before it happens, you know, baby goes, we're gonna need another Timmy. And then Mr. Lizard drops the quote. Oh yeah, Drake, that's the thing, too. Like, a Grecium, you know, you can pick up 180 SCU at a time at, uh, 141 on Daymar. And while everyone was rushing that Laranite and getting shot up over it, you know, a Grecium you could usually make out pretty quick and clean. And since you could sell it at Olisar instead of having to go to, you know, Lorville or anything else like that, it uh, was just a quick turnaround. Yeah, Larry, I mean, that's fair too, especially if you're running a fleet with multiple ships. Also, I just wanna, I wanna take a quick moment. Uh, I know a lot of you guys know Cookie. He pops up here in the chat sometimes under under the name Dad. He has had a very busy day today with the, with the food truck. And I don't think he's here right now because he's working said food truck, but uh, man, I'm, I'm proud of him, man. Got a ton of business today. Some people from the city came by to get lunch. He sold a bunch of stuff. I got a chicken sandwich from him earlier today for breakfast to perk myself up and uh, He's actually been finally getting some business in this town, and I live in a tiny town. And it is hard to get a new business off the ground, and I am I am excited for him. I'm glad he's actually, you know, bringing in some burgers. I say that, some money. Selling burgers. 
them chicken sandwiches. Like, it is, it is hard to make it in this town with any sort of new business. Because I live in a tiny town of like 9,000 people. And... A lot of businesses come and go here. I say that. Not a lot come. A lot of them go. Like, we couldn't even support a Starbucks. That's how small we were. Our Starbucks went out of business. And, you know, I know a lot of people don't like Starbucks, but... It's a Starbucks, you know? Like, how does, how does that go out of business? People love coffee. So I'm just glad to see he's actually, you know, pulling through. And, and making it... Whoa, what the crap? Hey, Profeta! What is... What in the world is... is that? Hey, Pierre! Welcome back, man. Sorry, we're getting some sort of weird solar flare. I don't know what is... That... that's new. That's new. I don't know what that is, but I don't... I don't like it. Yeah, Tony, exactly. You know, uh, next time there's a citizen con, like in person. Okay, what what is what are these like Star Trek strange energies that I'm that I'm getting all over the ship? Yeah, you see a name like, you know, I live in a tiny town. We had a Starbucks. Like, our Pizza Hut went out of business. How does a Pizza Hut go out of business, you know? Yeah, Apple, that takes me back to, to Solar Winds on Floppy, you know? Any of you guys ever play Solar Winds with Jake Stone? I think that was the character's name. Give me one second to land and I'll catch up on chat here. Ooh, I came in nose high. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Oh, is that an Antares? Yeah, sorry. I uh, I haven't actually been out to a lot of these places recently. Just first time I've ran into that. Oh, Gruff, I don't think that's in yet. I think that's in the new patch. They said they would be adding it. Uh, negative Vidar. Well, I mean, I've adjusted the, you know, I've put in a cross field. That's it. Hey, Chico. Thanks, well. I'll take support. We try to support each other around here the best we can. Oh, is the cinema oh, here? Let me let me double check. Let me double check. Ah, uh, I was supposed to refuel while I was on the pad. Ah, oh, well. Let's go ahead and store this. Before I forget, because I will forget. All right, let's go sell this 25 SCU of medical. I doubt they've adjusted the. Uh, I've, I doubt they've adjusted the medical rate since medical is technically tied into their proto quantum system. Oh, Apple is is doing out on HBO. Huh. And yeah, Zaysu, I tend to kind of just lawn dart my ships. Some work better than others. Like, if it's a caterpillar, I can I can land that thing without even being in the seat. But, uh, you know, the, the Constellation series require a more delicate hand. Yeah, Pierre, I think they only buy 25 SU of medical. Even less. Somebody has been here. Gross. Yeah, they've got to fix that. They have not touched medical. Um, so, you know, they did the uh, the update for uh, commodities. 
But I don't think they touch distilled spirits, medical supplies, processed food. Uh, actually, I think that's that's all three. So medical is probably still going to have a few issues in PU. Pyrite, good to see you. Yeah, kill. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish off the rest of it by Genie in Area 18. I just I just wanted to check since I had to come to grab fuel anyway. You guys remember when Dune? I think it was Dune 2 was like the original RTS. Like Westwood made that and went, "Hey guys, we just invented a new genre." By the way, we're going to make Command and Conquer now, and really invent the genre of RTS. Oh yeah, Gruff here. Let me get uh, let me get this ship, and I'll check settings. Uh, Moon, what is Foundation? Tell me, tell me more. Oh, Pierre, they haven't forgot Jump Town. They're just gonna make it overly convoluted. Couple mode toggle, invert, mm, default, disable, and boost. Default proximity assist, always off. Would that be under? Pilot look ahead, uh huh. Let's actually turn that off. I don't like that. Global camera shake. That can go away. Okay, yeah. I don't think it's in yet. That might be this, this coming patch. I got you, Moon. I do not have Apple TV. I would not be able to tell you. Yeah, Kiel, you know, RTS has kind of died out after a while. Which, you know, Iron Harvest, I've really enjoyed Iron Harvest. And it's got a few issues, but... I enjoy Diesel Punk. There's not really a lot of Diesel Punk games out there, and... I love playing as Diesel Poland with their uh, with their uh, Schmialis. Oh, the Schmiali is my is my favorite unit in an Iron Harvest. Graf, have a good one, man. Oh, Zap, man, if you've, if you've got a Taurus, I mean, you're probably still going to make more money bounty hunting. But, uh, man, space tracking can be can be pretty decent. And you're going to get shot slightly less. Ah, gotcha, Moon. That's That sounds like some, uh, some yo-ho-ho to me. Oh, yes, Firebrand. You know, Command & Conquer is what got me into wanting to do, like, voice acting. Or, or narration. Just like clicking on all the units and, and listening to them and trying to emulate all their lines. Especially like the, the spy, you know, yes sir, for king and country. Or like the weirdly not present engineer in Red Alert. Like you click that engineer and you just don't have confidence that he can really do his job. Yeah, Pierre, like, they need to realize, like, you know, quant, uh, little AI and all that, that's cool and all, but if it's taking away from the game, like, why are they simulating all this stuff that's going to impact players? Like, let the players just have their own economy, you know? Yeah, you know, name. I could, I could see that they probably did nerf it just a little bit. Yeah, Tony, have a good night, man. Sleep well. I'll catch you next time. 
And yeah, beer. Uh, what what Kiel says? SC Trade Tools is pretty good for that. Um, SC Trade Tools, Galog. Now you have to also remember they can only track the base data. They can't actually track what's active right now. So if someone shows up and floods a place, they're not going to be able to see that they've flooded it because they can't, uh, you know, they can't uh, they can't track what's happening live. So you just kind of have to use that as a as a litmus. Uh, Russell, that was Crew L4. Yeah, over here. Yeah, you see, I never, I never played War Commander. Oh, Infinite, the division's still around, although they've been having tons of, uh, tons of server issues too. Because, like, Crumpet and I used to play the Division 2 a lot, but we just keep getting disconnected. Yeah, sure thing, Keel. Yeah, Pierre, like, right now, like, let's say you got a C2, right? Uh, at the moment... You can earn basically a caterpillar in about 10 hours of constant trading in a C2, provided you're moving acetine or titanium at base prices. Uh, I'd say maybe 11 hours. Yeah, Zep, I hate that. Like, as soon as you jump out at a bounty, it's like, I'm going to launch this missile immediately. Yeah, the Division 2's been awful for stability. Absolutely awful. Like, we just cannot stay connected together. And I'm not gonna play it by myself, you know? Like, I mean, I could. I don't want to. Alright, Q, I'm gonna make this jump to Area 18, cut early, and then come to Baijini. Oh yeah, Zom, I mean, that's an easy thing to write, you know? Very easy. Sorry, you guys might get a little bit of air con, because it's getting warm in, uh... Arkansas again. Oh, no. Forget about the frames into Area 18. Uh, if we shut down early here... Yep, I'm frozen. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, Zom, I mean, it's... Journalism with quotation marks. Got to right clickbait. That's all it is. All right, there's area 18, which means ah, uh, let's just plot to buy Genie. I don't feel like messing around with it. Yeah, you know, Pierre, like, if they want you to take out a hammerhead, you'd think they'd pay a little bit more. Has my map died? I feel like my map has died. Okay, that's Lyria. Let's just... Let's just look, we're pretty much in the neighborhood. Let's look right on top of it. OM6. We'll just jump to OM6 and turn around. Yeah, Parker, I usually have to shut the ship down to uh, to get it to work consistently. There it is. Yeah, we were pretty much on top of it. Yeah, I probably could have just flown to it. That always scares me when it starts to do that shutdown sound. Ugh. <laughs> oh, Marcus! Thanks, man! Oh, you know, actually, okay, so 
Marcus, like the closest, the closest one is like 35 minutes for me, but Cookie makes one heck of a chicken sandwich. This thing is massive. It's, it's juicy. Like, I'll even go far as to say it is, it is wet. Oh, that sounds horrible now that I think about it. Not, not, but you know what I mean. Like, it is, it is a moist sandwich, so. It's okay with you. I'm gonna go get one of those from his food truck later today. Because it is a massive chicken sandwich. Absolutely huge. And because, you know, I gotta watch my sodium, he makes them unsalted. Which is, uh, which is good for me. But yeah, man, thank you, buddy. Oh, right, I'm sorry. You know, I, I have no idea how to change that thumbnail for streaming. Um, I, pretty, I basically just click the, uh, the, the go stream button. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to streaming. I just hope OBS is set to the correct settings and, and kind of go. You know, uh, Pierre, there was actually a few people, traders, hiring pirates to disrupt other traders. So they could, uh, get in and, you know, make their own purchases. That was very interesting. Erad was actually doing that, Eradicator. He hired, uh, he hired out, oh, what is that group called? The Matadors. To, uh, to disrupt trade. And then WRL came into, oh, it was a huge fight back in, um, what patch was that? 3.7? 3.8? You know, Apple, that's actually what we were calling it. Because, like, when he when he first started experimenting with the chicken sandwiches, like, they were super juicy. He's like, man, that's some, that's some wet-ass poultry. <laughs> uh, hey, hold on. Welcome back, man. Oh, yeah, Pierre, yeah. Oh, that's fair, Ryan. I, I do appreciate that, man. We're actually about to come visit some surprise. Keel has asked me to meet him at the cargo deck. So I'm going to sell what little medical supplies I can here, see what the surprise is. Actually, let's go see the surprise now. Then I'll sell the medical supplies. Let me store the ship, though. Let me store the ship. But yeah, um... Cookie just makes this ludicrously uh, large chicken sandwich. Like you know, the bread is regular size and all, but it's hard for me to believe that 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 slab of chicken came off just one chicken. Like I've raised chickens, and you know, there's some big chickens out there, but geez, this is a big slab of chicken, you know. In fact, I actually I, I took a picture. Um. Casper didn't abandon you? Where are you? I don't even see your marker. This isn't the cargo deck. This isn't where I parked my car. Yeah, VP, that's what I'm kind of wondering. Yeah, Moon, I was having that issue earlier. All right, so Keel says he's got a surprise for us. He's in the corner over there. I, mm, I don't know if I trust this. I don't know if I trust this. Meeting Keel in a back alley. Oh. Oh, oh, what? Okay, this is neat. All right. All right. This is new. You know, Apple, they actually, uh, they actually had, uh, a Reliant, uh, food truck for April Fools. And Rory, it's not bad. There's still gonna be a few issues. Why? I can't grab this. Why can I not grab this? Can I... Oh, Keel, I can't seem to grab this. I saw you had it. Oh, Infinite, I don't think he's gonna, I don't think he's gonna met us today. Weird angle, huh? I tried armor. That means it's hot and ready, like a like a little Caesar's pizza. Clean up, you know, to Delta 2. Clean up, you know, to Delta 
I like this, uh, this little like bunk off area. They've got their little apple core and some some water. Let's see if I can grab this. Yeah, I think I think that's only. Oh no, hold on. I just I just saw it. I saw it for a brief moment from an angle, and then it went away. Not in crouched, huh? Hmm. What? There was something. Turn my light off. I don't think I can grab it, bud. Or if I can, yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting it. Maybe if I jump on the table. Oh, I can grab the beer. Or not? Yeah, Keel, I think that I think that only belongs to you. Oh, whoops. Oh yeah, Frank. I just I happen to be going to uh a place and I figured, you know, I'd just sell what I had along the way. Hmm, yeah, nothing. Oh, well. I mean, I saw you holding it. That's fine. Tell you what, I'm gonna go unload these medical supplies, though, and see see what I can get. Yeah, Akil, it might just be you, man. I wonder if I can just grab it out of the air. Highlights? It just doesn't want me to grab it. Ah, oh, there we go. Grab. Ha-ha! Power on. Nothing. Can I store that on a suit? Oh, I can. Thank you, Keel. Last thing. What you got? What you got? What you got? Last thing. What, what, what could Keel have? What is... what is this? Oh, why can't I interact with this? Yeah, Travis, that's actually been a huge issue, too, with the elevators. Yeah, apparently you have to use your, uh, your tractor beam so people can grab things. Which, I don't have a tractor beam on me right now, since I had to do a character reset. I guess I can go grab one at around Area 18. Yeah, Travis, like, we're all waiting for indicators, too. Because, you know, sometimes you die in a spot, and you don't really have access to it, you know? I'm sorry, Keel. Let me go and load these uh, these little bit of medical supplies. See how Area 18 or uh, Bygini takes them, and uh, then I'm gonna go and load the rest of Area 18. And then I'll probably have time for one more trade run, and then I'll have to go to, uh, get to this doctor's appointment. Cause uh, I want to ask questions about these steroids, mainly how quickly I can get off of them. Cause they are. Uh, <laughs> They're rough. Oh, special item. What'd you get, Keel? Uh, Infant, we're gonna go back and find out. He said it was a special item he looted. If it'll let me grab it. Okay, so 1937. That's slightly better, but they're only gonna take 10 SCU. So yeah, they gotta... They gotta improve that. Don't tell me someone else has been selling medical supplies. I hope this bug isn't coming back. There was a super old bug back in the day, and the bug is back. Wow, that bug's from 3.5. Interesting, CIG. Uh, whole armor, I probably won't be jumping back on, because, uh... I, I'll probably be at the doctor for at least an hour. 
if usual appointments or any sort of indication. Um, I got a few other things to do around today, too. But, yeah, I'll be going tomorrow. You're more than welcome to join me then, too. Yeah, Frank, so the problem with the uh, commodity price alerts, since we're still going on the old system, uh, they, they've they been having some issues. Come on, let me grab, let me grab. Like, it doesn't really work with our current trade model. Not to mention, they don't update on a regular basis, so half the time they're not even accurate. Uh, so, a whole, if you're in, if you go to the main menu of Star Citizen, uh, on PTU, anyway, since you know we're on PTU, uh, there'll be an option to add friends. Yeah, Keel, that's just not working at all. You might just have to show us what it is. Hey, Sarah, uh, if you're talking about mine, it's probably because I sprint everywhere, and, uh, I believe my, my person is just hilariously out of shape. Either that, or I've taken slight damage, and whenever you take damage, you seem to gasp. Yeah, Keel, you'll probably just have to show us what it is. I'm sorry, man. Their... Their inventory grabbing system seems to be less than, uh, less than stellar. But yeah, Sarah, like, I'm pretty much always sprinting places. As such. Now, I'm not wearing armor right now, but, uh, you know, when you do wear armor, it gets even worse. Uh, Kyo, just go ahead and meet us. Probably hangar... I'm gonna bet it's gonna be hangar 4. Yeah, you can probably hear it right now. I could just not sprint, but then I would take longer to, to get places. But yeah, you know, it's space. Everyone's just hilariously out of shape. <coughs> you know what? I, I don't even have to fly the Taurus down there. I could have just flown something else. Interesting. They need to fix that. I'm sorry, did I say Hangar 4? It's a Taurus. Pad 5. Maybe down to Pad 5. Actually, you know what, Kiel, if you, you might, you might want a suit, buddy. Yeah, Frank, all they did was just update the, the refresh rate, supposedly, except for medical distilled spirits and food, which food's never really mattered anyway, and they've stopped the, uh, the commodity self deleting. All right, let me open the cargo bay. Don't don't run out just yet. Yeah, Kiel, you're not you're not gonna make that. I don't think he's gonna make it. I do not have a med gun. I do not have a med gun. He might make it. He might make it. Holy crap. Nope, he didn't make it. Buried in the boxes. But I could probably loot his body. Wow, he's... Straight up poofed. Uh, Kiel, so let me tell you about that not having a medical gun. And, uh, your body just poofing because it's in all the boxes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Probably should have waited for me to get a medical gun. I mean, that body is not there. I don't think it's there. Alright, that works, Keel. 
I'll just, uh, I'll just meet you down there. Okay, so which end is the... I got confused. There we go. Oh well, yeah, Casper, they're just, uh, they're placeholders, you know? Oh, yeah, sir. I know it's not physicalized right now. But yeah, the cargo is there, it's just not physicalized. 3.16. If they stay on schedule, which I kind of doubt, we'll actually have to physicalize cargo so you can move it around and all that stuff. Alright. And due to frames not being kind, we're just gonna we're just gonna slow boat down to area 18. Which it looks like I'm gonna have to replot anyway. There it is. Although this would be easier in a 400i. Uh, negative guitars. I did not. Yeah, AJ, I think back in the day, you actually couldn't go through the cargo boxes. You actually get stuck in them. I don't know what changed. Uh, it's kind of... Kind of annoying. There you go. Alright, yeah, I see a whole armor. I just added you to my friends list. Hopefully I won't have to do a character reset again. Oh, Casper, are you still having issues with Reclaimer, man? What's going on? Oh, Casper, I'm sorry, man. Well, you know, like, it doesn't have its gameplay yet, either. You can always melt it, go for something else. You know, Jason, sorry, I'm catching back up. Uh, like, with the, with the Raylan, I like it. It's a bit big for my taste, but uh, I like the Raylan a lot. I'll definitely give it a fair shake when it comes out, you know? Um, I like that it's purple. We don't have enough purple ships. You know, we've got the Talon Shrike, which if you do missiles, but uh, like I like how it actually has living quarters. Like it's more of a fancier mid-grade alien cargo hauler. It's a nice mid-grade cargo-wise. Like you know, it's no it's no caterpillar, but it's not a Taurus. You know, infinite. I should have. I really should have, but uh, I wouldn't be able to see where the marker is. So I'd have to, to eyeball it. I don't know if I can really... Right, you can kind of eyeball it from here. Oh, yeah, sure thing, Hull. I'll teach you the ropes. I need to get Cookie on here. I got him to finally play. He's been kind of learning the ropes, too. Uh, Casper, that's a good question. Let me find out. I thought you were still in my party. My bad. Yeah, Cowdy, like, that's the thing. The alien ships are really big. You know? And, Hole, I don't know if you're in, but I'm just gonna invite you anyway. Casper, are you not on my friend? Oh, right, because I had to do the... the... I'm gonna send you the friend request, and then party. Yeah, I guess I did. I'm sorry. My bad, Casper. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm sorry, dude. You have to forgive me, I'm, I've been all over the place. Oh yeah, Apple, I did see that. Finally, you know? We've only been waiting for so long. AJ, I mean, the Constellation series, especially the Taurus, you know? I mean, again, we're having to do this relatively. Unless you just mean, like, changing up cargo so it actually works for small hauling. Because, like, right now, really, the only thing that would work is drugs, and drugs don't really work. Like, they really need to bring vice commodities in at, at an appreciable scale that can actually be utilized. 
Come on, Toby, reset. There we go. Wait, Steve, they already pulled this in? They, they just put it up yesterday! What? They can't do that. I mean, I guess they can, but... And yeah, Zum, we really need the Connie to get a, a facelift, because this weird communal hostel setup is, is kind of wonky-dunk. Oh yeah, gameplay style. Well, they need to actually adjust how profitable things are. Because, like, okay, so if you look at that trade sheet that I made in, in Google, uh, if you look at how much cargo pays for, like, the Aurora, there's just, there's literally no way to make money with it. Oh, well, there's Casper with his Reclaimer. Maybe we should just sneak into his, uh, his spot. Come on, give me a pad. Shouldn't take this long. There's like three people here. I also need to improve this because this is just blurry. That is hard to read. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Here we go. Oh yeah, Russ, like I, I did. It just it was taking forever to actually, you know, go off. There we go. Casper, I believe in you. I think you can get that thing off the ground. Alright, we're gonna slot the battery. Nice and easy. back, even out, and touch down. Oh yeah, Arcade. I can't wait to do hammerhead bounties in that Ion, you know? Uh... Go... Go down? Why, why is my elevator already down? Whatever. Yeah, exactly, AJ. Like, they, they haven't really figured out how they want trade to be. And honestly, I don't think we're going to get the trade update in 316. I think it's going to get pushed. And when that happens, I'm going to be upset. Yeah, it's, um, the Nomad was actually doing pretty good. AJ was actually testing that with a Trusha Toxin. He did pretty well. Granted, that was right before drugs got immediately flooded with the update. Ah, Apple, there you go. I like that. Just park it on two liberators. Oh, Keel, I'm sorry, man. You know, Kai, I believe that. I mean, Sarah, you're probably right. Because, uh, you know, if the thing was supposed to have, like, what, three shields? I'm pretty sure they'll take that away. So it'll probably be like a really big buccaneer. The moose. The Drake moose. Sorry, it's like a buck, but, you know, bigger antlers. But, uh, yeah, no, like, I I kind of want one. It'll probably still end up being the redeemer, because, you know... Oh, yeah, Zom. 12 SUF Slam can get super expensive to buy. Well, yeah, AJ, I mean, there's only, like, two places to sell anyway. You know? Like, that's, that's the thing. Like, we're in the solar system, and we got two places to unload drugs. A scrapyard and, and pirate HQ. You know? They really need to diversify that. Oh, 
Ah, uh, Russell, I can't wait for the Corsair. It's like a, a Taurus, but with more... I mean, I say that. Andromeda, but with more guns. I would fly the Drake Yak. Actually, you know, the Yak-3 was my uh, was my favorite plane in IL-2 Sturmovik. Man, I love the Yak. The Yak-3 was... Oh, one machine gun, one cannon, that's all I needed. As long as I was under 12,000 feet, you couldn't do much. Hey, Stack. Man, it's 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 been kind of dicey, you know. Um, I'm not I'm not good at FPS, and 315 has made me painfully aware of that. Yesterday it was death upon death upon death. Oh yeah, Dingo. Like the the slam profit is great, but since you can only take it to one place, everyone's trying to sell slam. You know, like that's that's the big issue. And some they do, but it's still kind of. It's still kind of, you know, limited. Oh yeah, the scrapyard panels are dead right now. Is there a is there a bug report or issue council report for that? I keep forgetting to check. C-1925. No one's taking medical supplies to Area 18 because it's so far away. So if you don't mind that extra drive, uh, you can make a guaranteed 60k a run on the Taurus. Granted, that's if you can buy at, uh, at base price. I don't think that's going to end up happening in PU, but... Man, that is just like a lot of people on top of each other. Oh, Lenny, we probably won't see that till end of next year at the, at the closest. At the absolute closest. I would love to see it before then. Okay, I'll try it on the train. Or while waiting for the train. Because it said I was able to turn it on and then nothing happened. Yeah, I have like no other interacts with it. In fact, I can't even seem to... I can put it away, I just can't really do anything else with it. City yeah, it's, um, like those are technically designed for pirates, but they gimped it where you only make the profit on it instead of the actual, like, whole, you know, sale. I mean, Apple would be nice. I doubt it'll happen. But that would be nice. Here we go. We'll just stand out here looking at our cyberpunk dystopia. Pretending to do stuff on our uh, on our little pad here. I should I should record this. I could use this for an intro for State of Trade. Like, you know, we're in the we're in the train. We look down. We pull out our pad. And then suddenly just state of trade. Ba -ba -da -ba. Although, that would probably be an editing nightmare. Oh yeah, Parker, that'd be nice too. <laughs> Simon! <laughs> oh, Simon, that's, that's good, that's good. Um, I'm gonna go... No. I'm, I'm gonna go no. Squadron 42 will probably take at least two, three more years. And I feel like I said that two or three years ago. That is true, Laramie. That is true. I mean, I want Squadron 42 to be out. That way resources can be focused. 
but uh, they just, I don't know. It's weird that we had a citizen con and there was just zero focus or mention of Squadron 42. Like it was literally all Star Citizen, you know? Like we didn't we didn't have anything on uh, on Squadron. All right, so I've got time for I would say one more trade route. What do we want to do? Do we want to look at a Laranite run? I guess we could. We could go pick up some of that diamond. We could do it in the C2, just for, for big, you know, we all like big. Let's do it, let's go C2. Let's make a big number. Hello, and welcome to Riker Memorial Spaceport, servicing the Greater Area 18 Metropolitan Area. Oh, wow. A rain asset. Okay, that's fair. That's fair, Parker. We did see something from, from Squadron. I'll give you that. I'm gonna bump this thing in the hangar, too, when I, uh, when I come to land. I know I'm gonna mess it up. You are clear to launch. Three minutes. All right, I can I can probably wait three minutes. Or Teal, if you want to, you can meet me somewhere. I'm gonna be going to Walla. I don't even know if I'll be able to grab this thing from you. And yet, Lenny, that's how I feel. Like feature creep. I mean, that's the reason Answer the Call 2016 has been going to voicemail for five years. You know. Ooh, Zum. I mean, we could we could go 400i. All right, all right. Let's put that to a vote. C2 or 400i for the final trade run. Oh, Keel, if you put it in the ship's inventory, I won't be able to access it. Ship inventories are are for each person. They're not shared. That's a lot of vote for the 400i. Oh, alright, so we got two C2s. Lots of 400i. I say that. It's 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 two C2s to four 400i's. Oh, three C2s. For the latest hey, corrupt. Be sure to check the departure and oh, Apple says the are <laughs> Alright, alright. Let me let me do some, some vote tally here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's about seven votes for the four hundred I seen a lot of C two popping up now though. One, two, three, four. Well see so you can't vote twice. Five, six, seven. Pyrite says caterpillar. All right, so it's C two versus four hundred. I is tied right now, I believe, unless I've miscounted. Um, so tiebreaker, four hundred. I versus C two. Next vote will get it. Your personal belongings are your personal. Oh, uh, mm, hold on, Zom. I think you already voted four hundred. I didn't you? Oh, Jose, I can't run it in the Argo Cargo. Alright, well, we're gonna wait for Keel to get here. And then I'm gonna try to loot whatever this is off his corpse. I think the C2 has it. Tell you what, we'll at least look at the at the 400 eye while we while we wait. Or, uh, for Kiel to get up here. You know, from transforming worlds to by right, that's a good stars. question. I don't know. Ah, that's such a good future. paint. That is such a good paint job. They did a good job with that. They need more ships in that brush metal look. 
Hey, KR. Ah, uh, moon's going 400i. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they let me run polls. Let me look. I can toggle timestamps. I can look at participants. Uh, oh, I can! I can! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll do that. Alright, I'm gonna do this as a poll. There we go. Now I don't have to count it in chat. How about that? Do you guys see that? Can you vote on that? I don't... I don't know where that is. Um... There it is. Okay, now I can see it. Holy crap, they do have polls. Neat! Alright, Kiel, let me see this. That is a nice helmet. Oh, Zum. I mean, I could, I could add a... Alright, let's loot it. Let's loot it. Let me loot. No, it disappeared! No! Oh, darn. Oh, Zum, you know, I can do that tomorrow. You guys want me to do box running in the 890 tomorrow? I'm sorry, Kiel. It poofed you. Although, you should keep your inventory. Please it looks like if you die in a city, you keep your inventory. Yeah, I should have just murdered Kiel at, uh, at an outpost or something. Okay, so, so far, the 400i has it. Wow, 32 votes? Alright, so, I apologize to my C2 crowd, but it looks like the, uh, the 400 eyes have it. I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. Passenger Bree Hun Mendel, please report to your gate immediately. Last call for passenger. Yeah, that is a pretty tight race. Hey, Doberman. Not so bad. Server's actually been pretty stable today. Hangar 7. Isn't that the same hangar the C2 was just in? You are clear to launch. Yeah, sorry. I need to figure out a, uh, like a groan emote. Hey, GP. Uh, okay, so uh, medical might run into some issues when uh, when PU actually goes live. Uh, we've done some light trading in the Taurus today, and uh, I, I'm seeing some issues popping up uh, as far as prices, you know, rising up at a uh, at a particular rate. Um, so medical might run into some issues. I would definitely run it in a smaller ship like Taurus and below. Oh yeah, whole armor. Yeah, Doberman, trade hasn't been too bad. Um, I'm just kind of waiting to see how it actually turns out in PU, because, you know, PTU is a, is a smaller environment. And not everyone trades in PU, because, you know, they're not trying to grind. If they do it, they're just testing, kind of like we are. Ah, that is that is a clean paint job. That is probably the best paint job they've ever done. Ah, uh, corrupt. There, it's still an assessment. It's not out yet. Ah, oh, Kiel, I'm sorry. Sorry, Thank man. Uh, Infinite, this is the uh, the Meridian paint. It's like a brushed metal look. The default paint job is like the standard, you know, origin white. But this is that, uh, almost like a misc look, you know. Yeah, Doberman, that sounds about right. Refresh is about eight minutes. Um, the rate is what I'm, or the, the refresh amount is what I'm worried about when it comes to medical. Because uh, medical is on their, their quantum system, so it's slightly different. 
Uh, let's go to Walla. Well, Simon, if you're asking about the 400 die, it's not bad. The Constellation still outperforms it, uh, as far as speed and agility. Which is kind of weird for an Origin ship, but, uh, you know, maybe CIG will put it in the Oh, Apple, that'd be nice. I would love to see that in the 890. Yeah, exactly, Aronov. I feel like that's what they base it on, because the ship already looks like that, so they probably went, well, let's just give it the paint job so people can live out their Star Wars fantasies. Which sounds like CIG. Alright, so we're going... Go to 056, pick up some diamond. Diamond and Laranite. Although we'll probably just fill up on Laranite since we've only got 42 SCU. And yeah, KR, like, it's it's the first origin ship that I've actually wanted, and I might actually keep it. Like, it's not particularly useful. It's pretty much a high-performance Winnebago, but it's got a super cozy interior, and uh, it doesn't really waste its space, except for the weird climate-controlled component area. Quantum drive deactivated. I mean, it's only got 42 SCU of cargo, but, man, it is a nice little ship. It's fast, too. I think it'll do 1250. Takes a minute to get there, but it will do it. Oh, does it, Russell? I'm sorry, man. I'm deploying landing gear. I can't wait for them to revert the height so this thing can actually land correctly. They raised it to try to get the rock into it. And they went back on that, but uh, hasn't made it into the patch yet. So it lands kind of kind of bouncy. Has a bit of a hydraulic to the nose. Which makes doing a smooth landing very difficult. It also handles like a speedboat, like all of your thrust is in the main rear thruster. So you have to really drive it like a like an aggressive speedboat. Which isn't bad, I guess, but you know. Whatever. Yeah, see our nose is gonna bounce when we land. Got that hydraulics. Sorry, catching back up on the chat now, since I'm on the ground. Uh, you know, Tactical, sorry, catching up now, and I'm just gonna do a quick tour while, while I'm talking. Honestly, Joe, you're gonna get more use out of the Taurus. The 400i is a beautiful ship. I love this ship. It's cozy, but Taurus has ridiculous more SCU, uh, more gun. The turrets are going to perform better because they're, you know, at the front where they can actually hit your target instead of rear only. Because the turrets for your crew are rear-facing only. Good to get people off of you, but they might not help much in a frontal assault. So honestly, like if you're playing with friends and you're actually trying to do missions and stuff, unless you just really love the look of the 400i, which I do, um, I would probably honestly go with the Taurus. Like it's a little bit cheaper too, you know? Oh, thank you, Samuel. I'm sorry, man. I, I I know I probably don't have the best schedule for streaming. Like, I know I'm usually streaming when people are at work or, or you know, at school. I probably should try to stream more in the evening or do, like, supplemental streams in the evening. You know, Infinite, like, I, I wanted to like the Penumbra, but the Meridian just ruined it for me. Like, it's too, I feel like the Penumbra's too dark. If it had the brushed metal, I would have gone for it. Okay, yeah, so see, Laranite's 2550. People are definitely trading Laranite here, that's that's for sure. Now, I will say, Joe, I do love using the bike storage for box delivery missions on the 400i. And uh, I feel like it's quicker to get in and out of the 400i than it is the, the Taurus for solo stuff. But I, I, just, I feel like you're going to get so much more use out of a Taurus. 
That sounds like Keel. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, Keel. All right. His Hawk versus my 400i. Let's see how this goes down. Something tells me the Hawk is probably going to win. Because I think the missiles are still bugged on this thing. Hawk is also fast enough to keep pace. Engines active. Oh wait, no, that's a raven. Oh. Okay, well that's that's easy. We'll just go forward and outrun it. Landing gear raised. That's the one good thing about this. Oh no, he's still he's still picking up. No, oh, no, there we go, there we go. Yeah, being able to do 1250 in this thing is really nice for that getaway. That's the one thing it has over the constellation. So, I mean, it could be decent for drug running. Because there's very few ships that are going to be able to catch up, like the Buccaneer and the Hawk, I think. Like, we'll just, you know... Let him get close here. See how this thing does in combat, and if we start to fail, we'll just uh, we'll go forward. We'll run away. His two S threes versus my two S threes. And he's got that e impulse. Something tells me he's going to win the exchange, though, because of the refresh rate on shields. Check fire. Shields under attack. Granted, I'm not sure what EMP is handling like in, in today's patch. Or, you know, this patch. Oh, I think I might have the larger capacitor. Find out. I'm giving him free nose hits here. Let's run. While we wait for those capacitors to recharge, it'll also give the nose time to refresh. Although he's still hitting the nose somehow. All power to shields. Close enough. There goes that EM pulse. Didn't do much to us. Check fire. Oh, that is some desync. Yep, there goes our no shield. That's coming down. Let's see if we can outrun that. As long as our shield stays up, we should be kosher. I can eat that rear. And full power shields. Distance is 1500. Let's keep that above. There we go. Start slowing down. No, he's still hitting our... That's weird. We're at 2,000, but he's still hitting the rear. Desync. Huh. How is that working? That's... 
That's gotta be decent. We are outside range, and yet he's still hitting our shield. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. There we go. Okay, so that's not too bad. I can definitely use a bit of a buff. Kyo, did you survive that, or is that just your body? Sorry, Kyo. Eject. Not there it goes. Okay. Alright, back to area 18 we go. I'm gonna go sell this stuff, and then like I said, I have got to go boogie. And get ready for a doctor's appointment. refreshing the page right quick. I think my YouTube chat froze there. Oh, wow, that did freeze. Jeez, I have missed a ton of chat. Hold on, I'm so sorry, guys. I have missed so much chat. Yeah, sorry. The last thing I got was from Kiel like 10 minutes ago. Can I? Oh, yeah, I can end the poll. There we go. Sorry. I think that's what did it. I think the poll froze my chat up. Dang it. I'm sorry, guys. I promise I have not been ignoring you. Uh, chat just was not loading. I just had to refresh the page. Uh, so, Doberman, um, I have some of the whole series in buyback. I don't act... Uh... What? Um... This is not ideal. Hey, Raven. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, chat was messing up. Uh, huh. Yeah, it turns out the 400 eye does not like uh, jumping to Area 18. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Kyo. I'm sorry. Did it mess you up? Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, I promise I was not ignoring you guys. Chat was just frozen. I feel so bad about that. Yeah, Death Blossom for sure. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, heck, that's... That's Star Citizen, baby. That's Star Citizen, alright. Yeah, that was a fun fight. I feel like some S4s would have probably done me a little bit better there, but, you know, whatever. Oh, Kiel, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe just close out, close back in, or log back in, see what happens. Yeah, this thing does not roll in, uh, in atmosphere for anything. <sighs> yeah. You ever kept a ship just for the paint job? I might, I might have to do that. I don't want to, but I might have to do that. That's fair, Lenny. I just... I just always feel bad when people say things, and I feel bad for not responding, you know? I don't want anybody to feel ignored. Yeah, AJ, those turrets would have helped in that fight. I guess that would have been the, the advantage of the multi-crew there. This thing is excellent at running away. Ah, that's fair, Keel. Go, go away, go away. Hang up, hang up, hang up, there we go. Although now it seems that I've lost some of my sound. I'm not getting my Moby Glass sounds. Uh, 
All right, where are they gonna put me? Yeah, Forsaken, that's not a bad idea. I might just do that. Seeing, you know, I gotta wait till 3.16. Uh, have I have I taken damage? Am I did I did I take damage from that death blossom? Is that what it is? I think I did. I think I think I took some head damage. I mean I'll believe it. I'm all higgledy piggledy. Like I'm getting the the sound, you know. I guess I'll find out once I land. Just slot the battery. Don't need lights. I mean, Raven, there's tons that read chat, right? Hey, Joaquin. Uh, so the PTU patch has not dropped today. We're actually still on the same old patch. You know what we're gonna take? We're gonna take the cargo. Uh, so AJ, they made the paint a separate purchase. You can actually buy this paint by itself, which is what I did because I just uh, I just used store credit to get the the ship. Uh, Kiel, I'm not gonna have the time. Didn't they, uh, didn't they put the new... Ah, yes. Don't just go straight to the hospital. Try that out. We'll see if I'm... Weren't they supposed to go straight to the hospital? Weren't we supposed to have elevators that go straight to the hospital? Oh, well, thank you. Sir. Like, like I said, I, I try... I try as best as I can. I feel like there's a lot of times that I that I mess it up. I, I miss some things. Yeah, no, uh, Joaquin, it's uh, it's in testing. It's uh, it's an assessment. It has not gone to PTU yet. I could have swore there was supposed to be an elevator that goes straight to the hospital, at the at the hangars. Or maybe maybe it's just not in yet, but they're getting it in. Oh, right. You're right. I'm an idiot. No hospital at Area 18. My bad. You know, Infinite, like, uh, since they're lowering it back down, it shouldn't be so bouncy anymore with, uh, with the 400i. That's right. I, I totally forgot about that. That, uh, there's no hospital. This is why I chose it. So when I backspace, I can just immediately be at, uh, at, uh, you know. Do I have a med pen? There we go. Well, that didn't fix it. I don't know what I did, but, uh, I, I think I gave myself a concussion or G-forces or, or something. Because, uh, everything sounds super far away. Like, have you guys ever been about to pass out? And everything just sounds super far away. And, like, you're just having to concentrate on, you know, remaining in existence. Oh, thank you, Sarah. I mean, I could be thirsty. I mean, I'm at 73%, though, you know? I should be alright. And I am hungry. I am hungry, Zesu. I'm gonna go get one of those chicken sandwiches. Oh, those things are massive. I had one for breakfast. I think I'm gonna have one for dinner. Let's see, how do things sound in third person? Oh yeah, he's uh he's in pain alright. Look at that. Look at that grimace. At least I've got a head this time though, you know? Yeah, Russell, I think you're right. We're gonna sell this cargo and then and then die. That's what matters. The sale. You know, they could slow down on that animation loop, though. That just looks like some really bad face over IP. Oh, Casper. You know, uh, maybe, maybe write that in support. 
See, this is what happens when you're in choir and you forget the words, so you just keep repeating watermelon over and over. That's what they always told us. Like, if you're up on stage and you forget the words, just, just lip-sync watermelon. Uh, so, Chris, when we were jumping to Area 18, our ship did this weird Death Blossom super spin, and uh, we're thinking it happened from that. We're thinking the G-Forces may have done something. Yeah, that's a GPU. Maybe I'll buy a medical gun, see if that'll fix me. I kind of want to know what it was, you know? I, I kind of want to... You know what I could do? I could, uh... I mean, I could spawn the Cutlass Red and uh, lay down on the bed and see what's wrong with my head. Sorry. Sorry, Moon. I did it again. Yeah, how about that? I think I've got just enough time where I can go sell this, take the train back, lay down in the red, and at least see what the injury is. Yeah, Russell, that's it! That's exactly what it is! Good job, yeah! It, it is, like, it's a cigarette, it, it is a rum runner. It is... That's exactly what it is, yeah. <laughs> AJ, tell you what. Tell you what, I uh, I'll just make an emote that says groan. Would that work? Would that be would that be all right, Moon? Would that work for a groan emote? Yeah, VP. I have noticed that. I have noticed that. So we will walk up. We'll try not to be dead on the ramp to the red before we lay in the bed to check out our head. That's that's what I dread. I'm sure we can get some more in there. But yeah, I'll mess around and paint tonight. I'll make I'll just make an emote that says groan. How about that? I will remove I will remove the uh the second barrel emote since you guys seem to be very fond of the original barrel emote. Cuz like So, I guess I guess we can say goodbye to that. I don't know, I kind of like the second barrel emote, but we'll keep the original, we'll keep the original. Since you guys seem to like it so much. Uh, negative infinite was not. It was not. Uh, yeah, guy, it is still a thing. GPU shortage is still a thing. But, I should be able to upgrade my CPU soon. Which, I don't know, it's been... It's been working out alright so far, you know? Hey, did you guys see that, uh... DIG is opening up a new studio? Really? I mean, they haven't been able to... Here. Oh, yeah, see, there you go, Heavy. Yeah, we get tons of rhymes. Pyrite. <laughs> oh, thank you, AJ. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, Sarah, you see, I'm, I'm kind of concerned about those prices of DDR5, though, you know? Looks like it's going to be expensive, though. Do I just pick up, like... A, a nice CPU now, or do I wait to see what this next gen is going to be? Uh, so, Skeld, new patch is not dropped yet. It is an assessment, but we probably won't see it until late afternoon. What do you mean, Russell? You mean, like, upgrading a new CPU? Because, like, I'm on an i7, 8700K, and it's been, you know, super nice. It's just, you know, getting a bit older. But, you know, things still work fine, but... Everyone was so nice and donated earlier in the month to try to, you know, help upgrade my computer. And GPUs are still few, far between, and super scalpy. But since Star Citizen is primarily CPU based, like we talked it over, and we think we'd get some better, better performance by going CPU. Oh yeah, guy. Well, that's the thing. Like CPUs, I can actually acquire. At, uh, 
you know, retail prices. Oh, Lonix, 15 hours, man. Where the crap were you driving, dude? All right, let's at least lay down and see what, what my major damage is. Yeah, fine, Deplorb, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll, I'll, I'll figure something else out. Hey, Andy. Yeah, exactly, Zom. Like, 370s are like $1,000, you know? Or 3070s are like $1,000. All right, medical care. Let's see what's up. What is wrong? No injuries detected. Oh, that's that's BS. That is BS. I've got some sort of I've got some sort of issue. I'm breathing. Everything is funky dunk. You know what? Just just give me give me some give me some meds. Just give me everything. Yeah, guy, that's what I'm hoping for. Jose, you mean like a raffle for uh, for ships? Oh god. Um, I have I have I have uh, overdosed myself something awful. Um I need to lay back down. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's definitely psychosomatic. It's all in my head. Uh, can I make it to the other bed? Yes, I can. Hold on, this this should calm me down. There we go. Now we're getting better. Now we're getting better. Whew. Okay, so you have to lay back down to bring it down. Okay, yeah, so I'm just I'm just messed up. That's all it is. We'll just we'll just set it. Uh Where's my hemazole? Shouldn't I have some hemazole? Ah oh, well. All right, so yeah, we're gonna end it here because I have to, I have to go get ready for for the doctor's appointment. <laughs> yeah, Andy here. Whoa, I gotta lay down, man. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I'm just I'm just hurt by something. That's gotta be a medical bug. Oh, I am definitely a <laughs> mouth breather now. I mean, have you heard this guy for like the last thirty minutes? He is he is in pain. He is in absolute pain. Yeah, so I gotta get ready. Uh, hopefully we'll have a new patch sometime tonight. We can see what the updates are tomorrow. Uh, especially when it comes to the 30k heartbeat protection thing. So, you guys stay safe. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Stay cool. Or, you know, warm if you're in a part of the world that actually has a winter. And, uh, yeah. I will, I will catch you guys tomorrow. And maybe we'll see a meaningful update in the patches. So, until next time... Keep on trucking. Have a good one, guys.